this is a speed build and review Toyota GR Super. Starting off with the box here, you got the Lego and Speed Champions logo, a nice picture of the Toyota driving at night time, got a nice road, that's pretty good at box art. Then we've got the Toyota and Super logo there. This set is 76901, and it's the second plus. And on the back, we have once again the GR logo, uh, a picture of the GR Supra in real life, an inside shot of the cabin, and a nice picture of the Lego one drifting. On the side of the box, we've got just a nice picture. Of course, we've got the one to one scale and an advert for Lego Life. The box is sealed via one fun tag. Included in the box are the instructions, a sticker sheet full of clear stickers. Usually you'd expect yellow ones to go on here, but I think they've gone clear this time, so just the printed parts, um, I mean the stickered parts, can get on and not a different shade of yellow, which is a pretty good design choice. Then we've got bag one, bag two, a bag full of the wheel rims, and the base plate for the two-seater GR Supra. One thing to note about the wheels is that the rims are actually slightly wider, and as you can see here, the tyres have a lower profile compared to, say, an old one. This is the um, SRT Hellcats, and this has got the um, older tyres. The tyres on this are removable, just like the um, wheel hubs. The wheel hubs on this will be removable too, but the um, tyre is actually firmly onto the centrepiece, which is, which is in there. Opening up the instructions, you can see that the um, pages are grey and there's nice shiny boxes around which parts you'll need for the steps, which I think look pretty good. Right then guys, let's get into the speed build. So we're at the end of building bag one, we've got the rear of the Supra all done up nicely, we've got some spare studs here, and we have our GR Supra racing driver. Then guys, let's get into bag two. That's it, that's the set. Now let's move on to the review set. 
here is the driver of our Supra. He's got a um, Spanner and a black helmet. He's got a nice printed torso with printing a Toyota logo on the back. And this hair piece, take it off, flip his head around, reveals his other slightly happier face. The car then. What do I think about it? Well, I say the back is definitely one of the strong points. It looks really good. As well as the front here, uh, only nitpicky bit I've got about the front is the lights, which, if you turn it to the side, don't quite line up as this is slightly higher. But to be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, inside, I really like the use of the um, red to kind of not clash with the yellow kind of just make it like a, a nice contrast that roof goes on uh, oh God. there we are <coughs> and as i mentioned before these are the slightly wider tires if i go and get my dodge again so i have one wheel off the super and one wheel off the dodge and if you look you can clearly see that this tire is a lot better than this one. This hole is only like a hole wide, so if you get this spanner again, then it fits perfectly through it, whereas the, um, the super tires are a technical wide. That's pretty interesting. And as you can see, the um, Super does come with another design of wheel cap. So I've got this one. And this is based on the old design. But if you put them next to each other, you can clearly see that the Super is, is much bigger and it won't really fit into that of the Hellcat. And the Hellcat doesn't really fit. Supers, although it does stay in there if you put it into the hole, it will just come out again as soon as you put it on the side. So I didn't even have to put it on the side, it comes out. So, yeah, that's just a little tangent about the tyres of the Supra versus the older cars. And it's not just the um, single seater cars, the six good ones, have the smaller um, wheels and bigger tires than this, um, the eight good wide ones, because this GTR is also an eight stud wide and it has the older wheels. But if I'm honest, I actually quite prefer these ones. Hopefully, if Lego releases a rally car or off-road car, they won't go for these wheels. Um, and they'll go for these ones or even thicker tyres on other wheels. Just like they did with the Ford Bronco, which is also in this 2021 lineup of Speed Champion. Uh, another complaint I've got about this is the clear stickers. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, if you look at the front here, you can clearly see that it's like air bubbles and stuff underneath these clear stickers. That wouldn't happen really with the um, coding ones. But I can see why they are using clear stickers now. Because if you have the yellow stickers, because it's printed onto the stickers instead of the bricks, the yellow is slightly different and does throw off the look of the car a bit. And I think that's what happened on the um, Conan's egg that I also have. And we'll be reviewing and speed building soon. So, yeah, once again, I'm pretty happy with what I've got here. And if the roof will go on, I need to push the guy back a bit, I think. Need him back on this nice red headdress he's got there. Fun. Can you? That might be a design flaw. Oh, 
Well, let me try with the helmet, because otherwise I've just got some sitting around. Yeah, it does work with the helmet, but for some reason, I think the hair that he's got is a bit too spiky. It just won't fit under it. But that's a shame, so when he's riding, he's got to be wearing his helmet. But, oh well, doesn't really matter. Still looks pretty good as a car. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.